I'm stranded for 50 hours in the middle of nowhere with only plastic. I need to build a shelter, catch food, and have clean drinking water all with plastic. I have no idea what I'm doing. 50 hours starts now, so I need to build a base before it gets dark. I'm going to attempt to build this viral plastic wrap tent from scratch. First, I need to wrap the plastic around the trees like the video. It was at this point I realized it was going to take a lot more plastic wrap than I expected. This is going to take a while. Let's hope I can finish this before dark. Now I just need to run into it to make sure it holds my body weight. Oh. It doesn't. Well, this is the perfect time to test. How many layers of plastic wrap does it take to hold the human? Let's try 10 layers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's try it. Okay, here we go. 10 layers did not work. 20 layers. Okay, let's test it out. Oh, this is not going well. 50 layers. Surely this should hold my weight. Okay, let's do it. Oh, I felt like I fell a little bit slower that time. 100 layers. This is going to be a lot of plastic wrap. Here we go. Please work, I'm so tired. Okay. Oh, I'm scared. Oh. Come on! Well, that didn't work. I'm going to have to go bigger. I started to wrap the floor knowing it's going to take a lot more than 100 layers to hold my weight. What I didn't realize when I started is that I accidentally made it three times bigger than the original viral video. Does that make this the world's largest plastic wrap tent? Okay, this is two to 300 layers, literally six hours of wrapping. Let's test it out. So far, so good. Okay, I think it's holding. It's sinking a little bit. Oh my gosh, is it going? Is it holding? It's good, let's go! Here we go. But can it be used as a trampoline? Yes, yes it can. Ah! My foot got stuck. After a questionable amount of plastic and questioning my life choices, we've got what I'll be calling home for the next 40 hours. Before I finish the world's largest base, I need to drink some water. So can I turn dirty water drinkable using only plastic? First, dig a hole in the dirt. I don't have a shovel, or do I? Now, we have to fill this hole with green plants. Just like this. And then, wet your pants. I meant plants. Place half a water bottle in the center, where all the water should go. I have no idea how I'm supposed to find a giant plastic sheet in the middle of the forest. Oh look, a giant plastic sheet in the middle of the woods. Funny how Mother Nature works. Now, cover the hole with plastic, and then cover the edges with dirt so it doesn't move. Let's hope nobody finds me now because they may think I'm hiding a body. Let's put the rock in the center. Let's call him Dwayne. Condensation should build up and then trickle down the plastic into the bottle at the bottom. While we wait, let's finish the base. For the roof, let's just repeat what we did for the floor, but higher. Wow, this is looking pretty not bad, I guess. <laughs> Lastly, I just gotta build the walls. I just realized she made the walls one layer thick, so I guess I gotta do the same. Ugh. Okay. Ugh. Come back. Come back. Let's just hope that the comment about the bears is false. <laughs> Boom. Welcome to my humble abode. Let's rate it. Simplicity, I mean, it's all just plastic. But it did take eight hours to build, so I'd give it seven out of 10 for simplicity. Safety, this is basically a ticking time bomb. I have no idea when I'll just fall straight through the floor. So I'd give this a solid four out of 10 for safety. But style, it ain't MTV Cribs, but it is like living in a fishbowl, and I've always wanted to be a fish. If I don't start a fire, I won't be able to cook food for the next 30 hours. So it's time to test our second survival hack. Can I start a fire using only a plastic sandwich Bag. Now stick with me here. I need to fill this bag with water, but in order to fill it with water, I need to find water first. It's water time. Found it. So the video told me to fill it up about halfway like this. The water is so cold. Okay, I think that's about halfway. I mean, should be good to go. Now we now have to squeeze it and twist it into a cone shape. Okay, cone shape is coming. Let's get a little bit tighter. Oh, that was my face. Okay, so I guess it's time for the backup plan. Oh look, a wild lighter just sitting there on the ground. Oh, come on. Did you really think I was capable of starting a fire using this? Now that we have a fire, we need food. So, can I catch a fish using only a plastic bottle? All I need is a plastic bottle, a pair of scissors, a stapler, and some bread. Then, cut the top off the plastic bottle and flip it back into itself like this. Staple it together, stab it, and hope fish like bread. I just wasted hours trying to catch fish using this DIY trap until I realized there's no fish in this pond. Well, there goes my sushi plans for the night. It looks like this trap is better at catching flies than fish. With darkness creeping in, just like my doubts, I have 17 hours left and it's freezing. So in order to avoid becoming a literal ice cube, I need to make a blanket. I am the blanket. 
I spent the night in my plastic palace and only woke up screaming twice. Ah! That was an extremely crunchy sleep. I have four hours remaining and I don't want to look like leftovers in the fridge anymore. I'm about as hydrated as a raisin right now. Time to check on a water trap that we made yesterday. So I gotta be super careful to make sure that when I'm lifting this up, we get no dirt in the water. There is a little bit of dirt in there. Well, it turns out Mother Nature does not care about our life hacks because I've collected a total of three drops of water. That was not a lot of water. Well, my friend's gonna be here soon to pick me up and it's almost time for me to say goodbye to the Plastic Rod Palace. But you know what? I don't think I wanna leave. Oh, thank God you're here. Give me all this place.